Good evening guys and welcome to tutorial number 5 in this digital car modification series. This is going to cover alloy wheels, tyres, maybe suspension if we can fit it in. If we can't then that will be the next tutorial. So what we're going to learn in this tutorial guys is how to uh, change your alloy wheels on your uh, modified car, uh, how to change the lighting so it looks a bit more realistic and how to go about extracting the alloys and how to go about fitting them as well. Okay, so let me open up an image of a car which I downloaded earlier on, which is a Nissan 370Z. Okay guys, and if you're struggling to find high-res images, I do recommend this website, which is netcarshow.com. Now, I went on this uh, website earlier, and there's absolutely millions of pictures ranging from, you know, luxury cars, SUVs, sports cars, coupes, you name it, they've got high res images of all these different types of cars. So check it out, definitely uh, good images to start working on. Right, so what we're going to do in this image, guys, is we're going to substitute the alloys um, for a different set of alloys, which I've downloaded um, via a donor image, which is going to be these, okay? Now, guys, the golden rule is when you're um, searching for your car to um, extract items from, whether it be alloys, uh, front bumper, rear bumper, side skirt, spoilers, you know, lights, anything, make sure that the bit you're extracting is in the same position or, or near enough the same position as uh, your car is itself. It just makes for easier extraction and it makes it look a bit more realistic. If it's in a totally different position, then obviously you're going to be editing it more and it's not going to look as good as it could if it was. Okay. Now, as you can see, the wheels are in totally different positions. So remember this golden rule, guys. If you're looking for a donor image and you see an image but you think, hold on, the wheels are the wrong way, don't worry about it, guys. If you go up here to image, image rotation, and then flip canvas horizontal, now, as you can see, the wheels are in the correct direction for what we want to do. So bear that in mind when you're on Google searching for your images. Um, don't be disheartened. I've done it before when I started out. I saw, oh, I like that, but it's in the wrong direction. You can flip it around in Photoshop, so don't even sweat it. Right, so let's get to the extraction of this alloy wheel, guys. There's different ways you can do this, okay? You can use the uh, pen tool to, like, go around the edge, you know, and then bring it out and then uh, hold down, you know, it's entirely up to you. This does uh, create a very neat um, selection around the alloy, as you can see, and you can curve it to what you want to do. And then obviously once you join it up, you just right click and go uh, make selection and then go to OK. OK, but I prefer this method, which is using the quick selection tool. And make sure you're up here, you're selected on the first option, which is new selection, because we do not add or take away. We want to make a new selection. OK, and then literally, guys, just brush round and you'll see it will stick to any contours that it detects now depending on the image quality and the image size okay the, the selection might go like this and you might have little bits that flip out like that okay it's just the way it selects what you can do is go outside the selection hold down the alt key and that uh, substitutes the tool here for the minus uh, selection and just drag round okay and as you can see it takes away that selection okay and exactly the same rule for if you um, let's just say it's gone like that and you want to add a selection you're already on the add selection here by default so then just drag and get your selection as close as you can to the edges it doesn't have to be perfect but um, you know it does help somewhat if you can get it as accurate as possible okay once you've got your selection you press control C on your keyboard which is copy or you can go to edit copy and then go to your image and press control V which is control paste basically okay and rename your new layer front wheel okay so let's get down here move your image over the existing wheel and zoom in guys okay and what you want to do is hit control and T on your keyboard which puts you in a free transform mode now a quick um, uh, tip if you like on transforming your wheel you have an anchor point in the center okay and that is basically where the transformation takes place around the way I like to work is I like to align my alloy to the left hand side of the alloy and then move my anchor point to the left the reason for that is when I make any adjustments now it will do it from the anchor point okay if you obviously have the anchor point in the middle it's going to adjust from the middle okay so align it to the left move your anchor point there turn your opacity down if you need to so you can see what you're doing 
And when you do the adjustments, guys, hold down Alt on your keyboard, and that basically means that it will let you adjust in proportion. If you don't hold down Alt, it will just adjust normally out of proportion, and obviously it might look a bit um, pixelated, or just depends on, on the type of image that you're using. So what you're aiming to do here, guys, is you're aiming to match your alloy with the uh, alloy in the actual image itself. Okay, so I like to work with my opacity up so I know what I'm covering. And we just move it a bit more here. And just move this to the other side now. And then you can just keep flipping around the, um, the, the, the anchor point so you can adjust the image to what you want. And get it there. And then a quick adjustment of the anchor point over here. And basically just play around until you're covering most of the alloy. As you can see here, there is a, a section that... Um, that is sticking out okay guys and uh, what you can do for that is you can go into the uh, warp tool which you right click in the transform box and go to warp but I'm just gonna make another quick adjustment before I do that okay and then we're gonna go into uh, not perspective sorry warp and then what you can do is you can literally push the alloy into the empty space but try not to warp too much guys because then obviously the the wheel loses its shape and then it doesn't look as real when you're happy hit enter Okay, and guys, that's a pretty good match there. If we zoom out, you can see it's not bad at all. It's obviously distorted a bit here, but we can fix that with the cloning, okay? So I'm just going to hit Control v again, rename my layout um, back wheel. Okay, if I click on the writing, just can't aim today. Okay, back wheel, and then we're going to drag this over. Again, it's Control plus on your keyboard to zoom in. Hold down space to get the move tool. Okay, and again move your wheel to the edge, hit control T, get that anchor point there as your reference, hold down alt so you can um, re resize in proportion and then move your alloy, oops didn't want to do that, spacebar that's the one and then I think that's pretty good match guys, Let's just hit enter, go up here Hit enter, I think that's that's not too bad. It could do with a little bit of reshuffling, but just for demonstration purposes, you can see where this is going, guys. So there we there we have it. That's how to change alloys. Now, one thing that annoys me about some digital modifications that I see out there is everyone adds cool stuff on, and it looks good, but they don't adjust the shading to m suit the car, to make it look a bit more realistic. So as you can see, the alloys are quite bright here. Now, the beautiful thing about layers, which I always go on about, is you can adjust certain parts of the image without changing others, okay? So for this uh, case, we want to change the uh, shadow of the wheels a bit darker so that it matches the side of the car. So with the front wheel selected first, guys, go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. Here you can expose, here you can underexpose, do you know what I mean? So you can do different things. So here what we're going to do is we're going to shadow the alloys just a bit. That looks pretty good. And then do the same for the back wheel. And, and you obviously just play around with um, how light or dark you want them. Uh, again, that's that's not too bad. So, you know, that looks a bit more realistic than it did before. So bear that in mind with anything that you're doing within the car. Just make sure you shadow it so it looks a bit more accurate. Right, guys. So the tires themselves, they're part of the background image. We should have made an image of uh, a copy of this, uh, but I got ahead of myself, guys. So, you know, I do apologize for that. You can still do it. Hit Control J and then obviously just put in um, car but um, we should have done that at the beginning to darken these tires to give it a new slick effect we're going to use a tool over here that says burn okay and then you're going to select the range that it's going to burn which are the shadows if you want it to burn something lighter you're going to select highlights and obviously something colored it's going to be midtones set your exposure to something like uh, 16 okay and what you can do here guys is you can just literally go over the tire and, and burn it and you, the reason why the wheels not affected is because the wheels on a different layer and this is what I'm talking about about it being cool and as you can see it's darkening the tire to give it that new slick look obviously it's not the best example to use it on um, because obviously uh, you can't really see the tires but if you got an image from the side um, it will obviously give that tire that new sort of look okay guys so that's basically tires as well in a nutshell I'm gonna have to cut it short there because we are running out of time so that's basically how to change alloy wheels and slick up your tires. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them behind and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you have any requests for tutorials, just drop me a message and I'll do my best to um, get them sorted out for you as well. Um, just a quick note as well, you can burn the alloys if you're not happy with a certain part. As you can see, I'm, I can, I've got to select highlights first. 
and then I can burn them to just to make them a bit darker. So bear that in mind, burning and dodging which makes lighter, it's the same as the burning tool, it just makes things lighter, can be used to give you a more realistic effect. Okay guys, so that's the tutorial, the next one is going to be on suspension, it's going to be quite a simple one to do, um, hope to see you there, thanks for your time.